Marriage? Quite a show, Larry. Look familiar? All right, so I'm, I'm looking into the size of it. I needed to buy a bra for the housekeeper, uh -huh. and it seemed like you two were the same size, so I needed to find out what your and size what's was. What's all this mincing around? What is this? No, I was trying to imagine what it would be like to be the housekeeper and have those breasts, you know, wh working and, and doing dishes and, and how, vacuuming. And how did that feel? Did and it feel good? Yeah. Yeah. This is how your, your housekeeper washes dishes like this? I think the bingo game is fixed. I think Lenore is either in cahoots with Ruth or maybe even a few other people. I don't even know. Bridget. And you are? Holly. Holly. Maybe we should go bowling sometime. Maybe. I don't think you want to go bowling with me. Let's pretend to be ventriloquists, okay? Oh, um, and I forgot to mention it's that, that, uh, sex offender. What? Uh, you know, we saw the picture on the flyer, the, uh, that sex offender guy, that's, uh, that's him. He's cool. This is nice. Oh, yeah? Let me introduce you to some of my, uh, friends here, the guests. It's great. Great. Hi. This is Marla. Hi, Marla. Nice to meet you, nice Rick. Nice to meet you, too. And this is my wife, Cheryl. It's, oh, it's lovely to meet you. You have a wonderful home. Thank you. Thank you. You are? This is Rick, Rick. Leskowitz. Rick, nice to meet you, Rick. Nice meeting you. This is uh, Susie. Hi. Hi. His wife, Susie. And that's Sammy. Oh, somebody drop a cute bomb in here? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good personality, he's smart, he's funny. He should not be in our presence on a holy day. Any day. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, you're lucky that old lady fainted. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. You took that paper. <sighs> I know you did. I'm a doctor, you idiot. Good yanta. When am I gonna get my dollar? Oh, yeah, your dollar. That's right. Let me ask you a question, Stevie. I noticed that you went to the bookcase once. What made you go back there a second time? Hey, look, look. He found the matzo pay up. No, I'm just trying to find out why he went back There's to the no bookcase There's no need for a, a third time. degree. The boy found the alpha coma. Just pay him the dollar. How come you went back, Stevie? Look, stop it. He found the matzo pay up. That's that. He found the matzo? Yeah. Because you told him where it was hidden. That <gasps> is you? a lie. Didn't you? Mr. Mr. Dedek. Mr. Heinemann. How are you, sir? It's what a great, great pleasure to meet you. Well, it's nice to meet you. It doesn't have a... Sit down, please. Thank you. So? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little... Uh, late, uh, you know. Allah be gholem, it's not a big problem. Yeah. Was machst du? Ah, I was listening to Jewish radio, and, and they were talking about Israel, and I got so worked up, I lost control of my car. Thank you, thank you for that invitation, but I cannot go to the baseball game on the Sabbath. There are so many times when the Yankees were playing in Anaheim that I have so much wanted to go to see it. I, I, I even cheat by watching it on television. I shouldn't do that. Oh. <laughs> 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 is that what he did? Yeah. Big. This is my vagina? Huge. You're blaming the small penis. Yeah, you got the huge vagina. It's not necessary. I'll tell you what I'm driving at. I submit you took that baseball, stashed it in your unusually large vagina, and walked right on out of here. I was pretty swinging in those days. Yes. I was in the band, okay? Not like true. a rock band? Not true. Jewish folk, folk. music, uh, Jewish folk, folk songs. Oh, like what songs? Um, Gefilte Fish Blues. Um, my freaking back is killing me and it's making it hard to quell. And then I left the hipsters and I just became Larry David. But I was not attracted to him from the band. Honestly, I, I felt sorry for him. 
Why? That was the... I had Rachmanis. It was an attraction out of pity. Excuse me? What? I'm not doing anything. What are you doing in the back with me? Yeah, my back hurts. I don't give a shit. Do you think I care about your back? Come on. You know how much I've done for you already this weekend? Get the fuck out of bed. It's cold. Get the fuck out of bed! You were told about the milk plates. Were you not? Okay. Well, I'm sorry about that's, the... That's uh, fine. I have to bury the plate and we'll be done with it. You're gonna do what? We have to bury the plate. Why would you bury a plate? I know where you're going when he dies. Right, right upstairs he's going. Right upstairs. God you're taking an escalator up there. How are these pickles? <laughs> All right. Man, take it easy. Good day, Mr. David. My mother always used to tell me this. Most people aren't like you, Larry. Most people are not like you. You're special. You know, yeah. everybody's not like me. No, they're not. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You've undergone quite a transformation since the last time I saw you. Yes, my father thought it would bring more joy to my social interactions. Really? That's, that's a festival, if I ever saw one. I don't know what kind of guy you're going after with those things, but you're not going to get somebody like me, I could tell you that. Oh, well... Oh, God. You should have seen him walking down that hall. It was like the specter of death. And then he passed me and he looked at me. I'm, I'm haunted by that look. Did you read the brochure? Read the brochure? I can't read that brochure. It's Chinese okay, to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you Chinese? No, you look a little Asian. I'm sorry. But it's just an expression. But I don't think you are Chinese. You look maybe Thai. I'm not sure. Okay, is it the seed or are you just scared to fly? No, I choke under pressure in any kind of game, basketball. If I was on the foul line and towards like the last five minutes of the game, I would miss the entire rim. Okay, I don't I see couldn't you. even hit the rim because I was choking. Choking. <sighs> Larry, what's wrong? That friend took advantage of me, Mom. Oh, I know it hurts, son. But you must practice love and forgiveness. Give him the benefit of the doubt. That's what Jesus would do. Hey, I got a bite, Pop. I got, I got it. I got one. In the bottle party when I ran out when I was 12 because uh, I was. We were there. Huh? Yes, I always wanted to ask you about that. Why were you so I humiliated? I felt so humiliated. Well, you I, 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 I didn't, couldn't kiss anybody. I didn't want to oh. kiss anybody. Nancy loved you. I was you scared. Then. 